Hey guys, Ralph here. Welcome to True Power Save the Planet here on Magnificent, Magnificent Monday in Connecticut. You saw the uh, thumbnail. It's not the germ, it's the terrain. You don't believe me? Of course you don't. Who the heck am I? I don't have a PhD from a leading institution. No, no, no. I'm, I'm a jerk. I'm just a guy on, on, on the internet that doesn't know a darn thing. Why do you listen to me? <clears throat> I didn't say it. Louis Pasteur said it. You think he'd know something, a thing or two about that? I, I'm, I'm just throwing that out there. Just throwing that out there. Because I don't know what I'm talking about. But, you know, in these times of need, <laughs> when we don't know who to believe, I try to do a little research and, you know, go back and see what's, what's up. Louis Pasteur says, don't worry about the germ. Worry about the terrain. Not only the terrain around you, your environment, but your inner terrain. <clears throat> As Jesus said, your bills above. Get rid of it, man. Anyway, so Louis. Louis says it's not the germ. It's the terrain. He said that on his deathbed. Okay? So what did he mean by that? Well, first of all, these diseases, these colds that are around here today, these colds are diseases of filth. The filth around you and the filth inside of you. You clean up those terrains the disease goes away. I'm not going to say the disease goes away. Disease is everywhere. Guys, you, you walk outside, you take a deep breath. You don't, Lord only knows. I don't know. Nobody knows. Fauci doesn't know. Nobody knows what you're inhaling. There's a real good chance everybody on this planet has, has inhaled at some point or another some form of certain colds going around out there. So why aren't we all dead? Some have better immune systems than others. Some have cleaner terrain than others. Some live in Alaska as opposed to New York City where the terrain is cleaner. Some live in Nebraska or Hawaii even better instead of New York City, which is the epicenter. Why? It's filthy. Hawaii? You have lunch on a, and just sit down on the sidewalk and have lunch. It's so clean. Pristine. Anyway. It's not the germ, it's the terrain, baby. Get that through your head, guys. It's not the germ, it's the terrain. And you and me and everybody out there in true power land, we have to work on our terrain. That's the only thing that we have a control of. If you're living in New York City, you have no, you have, you have no control over the rats in the subway, do you? Okay, let's put today's colds aside for a minute. It's a, it's a very volatile topic. Let's talk about my favorite, my few favorite humanitarian, Bill Gates. I love this guy. He is such a fine, fine human being. And I can't think of anybody that I would rather have billions and billions of dollars to have to help out humanity than that wonderful man, Bill Gates. He's admitted his entire family is involved with eugenics. If you don't know anything about eugenics, short and sweet, the, they believe that human beings are out of control procreators. We have no control over our sexual urges what so many, what so often, so much, what so often, and something has to be done to control the urges of us barbarians. <clears throat> and what do they do? They develop <clears throat> Planned Parenthood. Worldwide, the biggest producer of abortions worldwide. Next day abortion pills. Monsanto, it's money. Ka-ching, ka-ching, ka-ching. So anyway, we're, we're going to stop about these colds that are going around today. Okay, malaria. So when Mr. Eugenics or his father, 
who founded Planned Parenthood, okay, wanted to save Mozambique from malaria. So what they do, they go over armed with a couple things. First of all, the vaccine. Good for him. What a fine man. And nets. You cover yourself with the net and the mosquitoes and rats who are the diseased can't get at you. Okay? What a fine man. What a fine man. The problem is this. It didn't help one bit. It didn't help one bit. You go Google it today. I already did. I'll save you the trouble. Mozambique is just completely overrun, as overrun with malaria as it was how many years ago when Billy and the eugenics people came over with their vaccines. So you could take a couple things from that. The vaccines don't work. In hundreds of millions of documented cases, not necessarily malaria, but you know Spanish flu, swine flu, all these flus. Hundreds of millions. We have names. We have... Um, Social Security numbers. They got the vaccine and they still got the disease. Hundreds of millions of cases. Okay, it's probably just, I'm sure Billy would, would agree that that's, that's, just calcul that's just a calculated error. Okay, because these vaccines work. Okay? We've all had the flu vaccine, right? And flu is gone absolutely gone. We have other more important things to worry about now than just the flu because the flu is gone. All right. So anyway, he goes over to malaria, going to Mozambique to cure malaria. For some reason it didn't work. So vaccines, there must have been holes in the nets. There must have been holes in the nets. Now, wait a minute. Let's think about it. What in the world do you need a net for or a tent? to keep you from the mosquitoes. The mosquitoes are what is spreading the disease. So keep you from the mosquitoes. Hmm. Don't take care of the mosquitoes. No, Bill, Bill would have thought of that. There must be a reason that you, because Bill is such a genius. He would have thought about that. Now the fact, where do the mosquitoes and the rats that are spreading the disease, where do they get the disease? Now, do you think it's the open sewage running through the village? You think that has anything to do with it? Could have been, because Bill would have thought of that. Okay? You think it's because the kids play in the open sewage? You think it's because they wash their clothes and their dishes in open sewage? You think they bathe in somebody else's feces? You think that had, no, that couldn't be it. Because Bill would have thought of that. Because if Bill knew that all he had to do was to build a proper irrigation system to wipe out malaria, he would have done that. He would have done that. The fact that he can't make any money on an irrigation system, and he makes uh, billions on vaccines, he would have thought of that. It, it, it couldn't be that conflict of interest. It absolutely couldn't be. Okay? Clean up the terrain, your environment, and what we can do is clean up our own terrain. Guys, get the mucoid plaque out of you. Eat and drink. Drink, drink, drink. Juice. Juice, 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 and more juice. First of all, you're not going to believe how, much, how great you feel. Second of all, you're going to... Clean out your terrain, your terrain, your personal terrain. That is what you have control over. Everything else, guys, is out of your control. Okay? That you have control over. And that, I guarantee you, if you take, go the 90 days that I'm going and clean yourself out until you stop pooping the bills above. The mucoid plaque that is inside of you, guys, you will not catch a cold. I think you should get the vaccine. I absolutely think you should get the vaccine. Because the government wouldn't lie to us about this. They really and truly would. Billy and the government would not lie about this. I know there's billions and billions and billions of, to be made from vaccines. But I think you should get the vaccine. I think you should wear the mask. 
because all that emission that's coming out like a car emission, car tailpipe, that's coming out and you breathe it in, that, that, that's not a big deal. That's not a big deal at all. Okay, so wear the mask. Stay as far away as you can from other people. You do those three things, and, and I'm sure we will be disease-free in no time. But maybe Louis was wrong. Maybe it is the disease and it's not the terrain. <laughs> you get where I'm going here, right, guys? All right. Eat and drink your fruits and vegetables and live your life with true power. Love you all. It's not the germ. It's the terrain. Louis, my man. <laughs>